everyone, welcome back to my channel and to this fantastic video all about video ideas. Today I'm going to share with you 30 different video ideas that you can use for either short form video or long form video on your YouTube channel and any other social media platform. So my name is Anita Wong. I help other business owners to use video and to step into YouTube. So let's crack on with video idea number one. And that is a video about you. Now, if you're thinking of putting a new video up on your YouTube channel, an about me video is a great way to introduce yourself to your new viewers and new visitors to your YouTube channel. This can be either done in a short vertical 60 second video or you can spend a little bit more time doing it in a landscape and digging into maybe a little bit about your backstory to why you're doing what you're doing at the moment. So about me is a great one to get started with. Video number two is a behind the scenes video. So this can be a little tour of maybe the factory that you work in or your workshop or even your studio at home. It could be the behind the scenes of what's happening in your work process or maybe if you are organizing an event, it could be anything like that. And again, this can be done in either a short video up to 60 seconds or a slightly longer video where you might give a little bit more of an explainer as well. Now, of course, all of these video ideas, I'm actually reading from my new 30 video download. So as you can see, I have quite a few video ideas in here. So if you want a copy of this, I'll drop the link below this video as well. Let's move on to video idea number three, and that's your why. Why are you doing what you do and how is that going to help your audience? How are you going to help your audience by doing your why? So in other words, if you, like me, say are a video creator and you like helping people to step into YouTube, tell your audience why you like doing that and how you think the elements and the sort of like magic that you have will help them succeed. Okay, so video idea number four, teach your followers something that they didn't know before. Now, I bet you've been asked lots and lots of times the same sort of question from somebody who has reached out to you. Now, those questions are invaluable and those are the questions that your audiences are wanting to know from you. Okay, Video idea number five is actually an encouragement video. You know how difficult it is as a business owner, perhaps using the device that you're selling or trying to do the service that you're doing, or even just keeping up with all of the multitasking that happens when you are running your own business, running your home, maybe have a partner, maybe have other people that you're dependent on. So encourage your audience to actually like step out and set some goals. That's a really good video idea. Okay, video idea number six is ask a question. Poll your audience in a video. Maybe in the description of the video, write the poll down, but ask your audience something. Ask them a question about what they're doing, what they want to know, and of course, ask them if they have any burning questions that they can write in the comments of the video so that you can then do another video to answer those. Number seven is a poll your viewers. So on YouTube specifically, there is a feature where you can ask polls in the community, but also you can actually do a Q&A in the description of your video. And if you're making a video on another platform, some of those platforms allow you to put stickers where you can do a Q&A. In YouTube Shorts, you can actually add a sticker as well nowadays. So you can use all of those sorts of features by to poll your audience. Now, video idea number eight is ask for suggestions. So there's nothing wrong with you doing a video asking your audience what it is they want to learn. Now, I know that sounds like, well, why would I ask them? Because I'm supposed to be the authority. Actually, that actually shows that you're human and that you want to connect with them more and you want to actually serve them better by actually creating content that they're really going to want to watch. Number nine is actually promote a recent blog post. So you've spent time writing a blog or an article about a product that you create, a service that you do, or if you're maybe a vlogger or a health and wellness coach, a thing that you've just come across. Write 
a, when you've written that blog, turn it into a video. Now there's great ways of doing this. You can actually turn a blog into a video using some tools such as wave.video or maybe Pictree. All of those allow you to put the text of a, a blog or a vlog into their software and they actually create videos with B-roll. You don't always have to be on the video. You of course can use B-roll or other video that you've got and just do like voiceover and things like that with it. Video idea number 10 is to share a location close to you. So why not let your audience get to know you a little bit better? Now, of course, if you are a travel buff or you are working in the city or you have a business where there are several different locations, sharing information about those locations on a video would be a really cool idea. Okay, so we've got through a third of the numbers. So don't forget that if you want a copy of this download, then go to the link below this video. And of course, if you're enjoying this video and you're finding it inspirational and helpful to you, then don't forget to smash the subscribe button on this channel and come back for more ideas for video and how to get started on YouTube. Okay, so let's jump into video idea number 11 the benefits. Now I could go on and on and on about doing videos that show the benefits of the service or the product that you do. Now one great way to do this is to write down in a list five benefits of the product that you sell or the service that you provide or the location that you're promoting or the venue that you're promoting. Write down five points about that particular thing. Now those five points can either be brought together into one video or you can do five videos one point at a time. Okay, video idea number 12 is capture a day in your life. So this is quite good for short video ideas. Maybe you want to do a YouTube short or you want to do an Instagram reel. You can capture short snippets of your day on the phone and then at the end of the day, cut them down so it's 60 seconds and then do a voiceover talking about what you're doing throughout that day. That's a great one. Number 13 is actually share a testimonial. So maybe you've worked with someone recently. Ask them if you don't mind if they don't mind you interviewing them. So get them on the video with you. Use a couple of microphones and ask them a few questions about the service that you provided or whether they've got any feedback on the product that you've sold them and use that in your video. Those are great ways of actually raising your profile because if you've got testimonials from other people and you share them in video format either on your YouTube channel or another social channel you're going to encourage other people to start to think hmm, maybe I might want to work with her or hmm, maybe I might want to buy her product. So number 14 is repurpose your posts. So if you have not been a video person, you've probably quite liked writing and you've probably got quite a lot of pictures in connected to those to those posts and what you can do is either you use the pictures and make a video out of them or you can just put the script of the post that you've got into a teleprompter and actually talk about the post but in a video format that's another one that's quite good for short video number 15 video idea number 15 is actually promote so occasionally we do want to sell on video and promotion is a great way of utilizing video because what that does is it enables your audience to really connect with you. They get to see you in person like you're seeing me at the moment. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to smash that like and share it with other people. Promoting what you do is okay to do that on video. It's, it's okay for you to sell to people on video because what you've done if you follow the the last 15 videos that we've just done you've already established yourself as an authority you've already given value so now it's time to promote and sell so do videos that sell whether they're under 60 seconds as shorts or slightly longer where you go into maybe what your service is providing or a little bit more about what your product is all about number 16 is actually tagging products so you in a video format, you if you've hit 500 subscribers and you can have a shop on YouTube, then you can tag the products. But if you haven't tagged, got to that point, then instead of tagging them, bring them up onto the screen. So say like if I was doing makeup, I could bring the product up, show it off to the camera, talk about it a little bit and 
put the information about the product in the description so that people can go off and buy it. Idea number 17 is actually to offer a discount. Now, of course, we all love bargains, but we also, as business owners, don't want to devalue ourselves. But occasionally, doing an offer is a great way of utilising a video format. Like, for instance, me talking about these 30 ideas that I've got as a PDF download. I could sell this product as a 30 downloadable crib sheet, but I'm not. I'm giving it away for free. So offer a discount because at the end of the funnel, you are going to be selling things. So don't be afraid to offer a discount, but don't devalue yourself and don't sell yourself short. Number 18 is quite an interesting one because it's a type of video where you could actually run a quiz. So choose four different things that you want to talk about on your video and ask your audience to engage with you. That's a great way of getting that two-way conversation going because what happens a lot of the time is that we end up talking to the camera the whole time and not pausing to allow our audience to give us some feedback. So if you run a quiz and you ask certain questions and you give certain answers and then ask throughout the video for your audience to feedback at that point, you're going to get lots of engagement. Now, number 19, video ID number 19, is a great one for you to collaborate with other people, and that is to promote other accounts. Now, because of YouTube's new username function, you could do short videos talking about some collabs that you've had with other, maybe other business owners or other people who sell the same product as you, and you can tag them in the description. So you can talk about what it is that you want to talk about on the video, talk about the other person, or better still, get the other person on camera with you. And both of you have a conversation about the product or the service that you're selling and make sure that you you promote each other. Video idea number 20. So we've got 10 left. This is nearly like you can either use this as a whole month's worth of content or you can spread it out and use it as like six months of content. Make a video about someone else that you work with. So maybe you're working in a shop or in a factory or in a workshop or maybe in a restaurant or a cafe and you've got other people in your workforce that you could bring onto the to camera so that the audience can get to know all of your team in one go. Video idea number 21 may scare you a little bit and that is actually to go live. So YouTube has a live feature, so does Instagram, so does TikTok, so does Facebook, so does LinkedIn. Going live to your followers on a regular occasion, maybe once a week or once a fortnight at a set time will really help you to grow engagement. Video idea number 22 is actually to encourage your followers to message you or to follow the call to action that you have on your channel. So this is another selling style of video where you can encourage your audience to actually DM you. So what you do is you talk about the product or the service that you're offering, and then you ask them to drop you a message in the DMs or on YouTube, in the comments or by email. So if I wanted you to download this video list, then I could encourage you to leave your details in the comments or reach out to me by email or go to the link in my channel page where you'll find the link to this video. So video idea number 23 is actually to create a countdown for your other videos. So perhaps you are wanting to do live streams and you want to make live video a regular occurrence. So doing a countdown video where you might have a minute timer or a two minute timer where you can put B-roll, you can maybe do a little bit of conversation, you can have you doing different things all in a video. That is a great way of utilizing that sort of countdown feature. So video idea number 24 is more of a content for your video. So basically, whilst you're doing a video about maybe a product or a service that you offer, encourage your audience to smash that subscribe button and switch on the notifications. So this is a video idea inside a video idea. So while you're doing your normal recordings, remember to include 
call to actions to encourage your audience to switch on the notifications and subscribe to your channel. Just like I'd like you to hit that notification bell and switch on the subscribe button. Video idea number 25 is for those of you who probably deliver in-person um, services or you deliver products that you send out to people. And what you can do is you can actually video that process. So maybe it's like the whole packaging process all the way through to it going through your um, client's door. Video idea number 26 is holiday ideas. So maybe you're a travel agent or you are a vlogger or somebody who likes to look for the best bargain. You could do a video on holiday ideas, like where you love to go on holiday. Maybe actually even share like behind the scenes of when the trip to where you're going on holiday. Maybe a little behind the scenes of your flight there or your train trip there or your car journey there. Video idea number 27 is share what you dislike about your job and why. Believe it or not, sharing this type of video will really resonate with other people who are finding what they do quite challenging. And if you share what you dislike about your job and then share some positives, you could actually start a conversation with other people who hadn't thought about the positive sides of the job that they do love or hate. Video idea number 28 is add a voiceover to a collection of videos or photos. This is probably one of my best loved way of creating a video, especially if you want to do a short video for say like a YouTube short on your mobile or TikTok. I love this idea. What you can do is you either get a selection of photographs. So if you're selling a product, you could have snapshots of the product. Or if you are doing things in the day, take little videos of the day. And then what you do is you take the, the volume down to zero and then you do a voiceover telling a story of what's happened throughout the day on your video. I, I, I believe me, if you do that, that's going to be a real hit on your channel. Number 29 is share what makes your community happy. So share feedback from your audience. So if your audience has said something in the comments, feed like do a, a thank you video to your audience and call out and name your, your audience in the video. They'll love it. People who interact with you on your videos, on your channel, will love a shout out, especially if you take a little bit more time about it and look them up beforehand and even shout out maybe their business or their service that they provide. And finally, the 30th video idea for this video is to share a pre-made video. So believe it or not, YouTube is a great place to repurpose videos you've already done. And you can do that by either scheduling the video or premiering the video on your channel. So if you've run out of time and you don't have time to record a new video, then just repurpose an older video with a fresh title and a fresh thumbnail. So I hope you've enjoyed these 30 video ideas. You can download your own copy of these 30 video ideas from me using the link below this video or the link that's going to pop up in one of these corners in a moment. My name's Anita Wong. Thank you for joining me today and I wish you all the best of luck in your video creation journey. Do tag me in the comments if you put a video up. I would love to go and have a little look at it. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Oh, and don't forget to smash that subscribe button and give me a like if you've enjoyed this video too.